Hi, I'm here today to show you how simple and easy you want it to is. Start over yeah. Hi, I'm here today to show you how easy. Reach, <laughs> man. Hi, I'm here today to show you how easy and convenient it is to install your own cultured marble tub surround that we can ship to you to your door. It's something a homeowner can do themselves, a housewife can do themselves, a contractor, tile contractor. In this case, the homeowner has pulled out their old tile and it's an apartment unit and they want the convenience of cultured marble in their, sh in their rental property. So I like to start with the wet wall first. We're gonna take the marble in this case to this point and finish it here. And I'm gonna pull my measurement from this point to the center of the fixture, which in this case it's 17 and 7 16 My next measure is from the top of the tub to the fixture. In this case it's 58 and 15 16 And then the lower spit two spigots the first is the valve. We're going to get centered to the finished edge, which is at 17 inches. And the, the spigot below it is also right at 17 inches. And then we're going to get the height like we did in the upper fixture. And it is right at two and three quarters. And the valve is right at eight and five eighths on center. So now I will write my measurements down on a paper and we'll go out and copy that onto the piece that we're cutting. Okay, so I've laid this out, pulled it out of the box, and you want to put the finished edge, and I like to lay it down how it is in the, in the house. So I come from my finished edge and we know we were at 17 and 7 16 from the finished edge to the center of the upper spigot. And from the top of the tub, which is the bottom of this piece of marble, at 58 and 15 16 and draw a little line. Then we come down to the lower spigot, grab your measurements that you took from inside. We know we were at 17 inches in from the finished edge. And 8 and 5 eighths from the bottom. The lower one was at 17 and 2 and 3 quarters and draw a little line. All right, this next step, we're gonna drill three holes. The upper shower head hole is an inch and a half. The valve is at four inches, and the lower spigot is also at an inch and a half. And just a regular hole saw will work just fine. Okay, this step, we're gonna put the glue on the wall. We recommend 100% silicone, and I like to space my blobs every eight inches apart. And I like to just push it in so that the glue sets behind the marble. Okay, on this next step, we're gonna just glue this like we did this other panel. We'll put it up, and then we'll put this panel up, and then this panel, and go from there. In this corner of the tub, you can see is that a square. We have a trim piece that will go here and cover this gap up so you won't even see it. All right, we're gonna put the finishing touches on this tub shower. First, I cut an eighth of an inch hole on the tip of my Colt gun. I use I like to use carpet pad to wipe the excess silicone onto and then I'm gonna 
run a quarter inch bead all the way around and I'll show you how to do that next. So now we got all the coking done on the tub shower, we're going to put a shampoo shelf on. Now you can put it anywhere you want height wise. We use hot glue on the back side of this and that holds it in place for the silicone to dry that we put on the outside edge. So we're going to do that now. Okay, we're completely finished. It should take about an hour to install. Wait about five hours before you put your plumbing fixtures on and before you clean the tub. And I hope you enjoy your carefree new bathroom. I wanna do one. Greg, you wanna step in and do this one? <laughs>